Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Oh, I already talked to you, didn't I? And got the berry. Right, uh, so, this, uh, this, blah, this route is kind of interesting. Uh, last time, of course, we made it to Lynette's, and through Fall Arbor Town, and now we're headed on to Meteor Falls. And that guy is a camper. He's got a sand shrew and a nuzleaf. Uh, interesting thing about this, um, wait, no, Sand True, we'll leave Violet out. Interesting thing about this route is there are Swablu here. Swablu are kind of awesome. Well, later anyway. Camping's fun. You can fish, roast marshmallows, and tell spooky stories. But the best of all are the Pokemon battles. Uh, one of the things I like about Swablu is, of course, that they, they gain a dragon type when they evolve. They're, they're normal flying. When they evolve to Altaria, they're dragon flying. And then, um, they are, let's see, water gun. Uh, Mega Altaria in Gen 6 are fairy dragon, which covers the dragon, dragon self weakness very nicely, but we'll get to that. Doesn't work in this one anyway. All right, the Volner, let's see, Camper Shane is about to use Nuzleaf. Yes, I will. Harlan, come on out. Let's see, Harlan. Camper Shane sent out a Nuzleaf. Ember. Yep. Uh, I do miss Max, but he just wouldn't be that good in this version of the game because I couldn't teach him beat up. Yay, the boulder grew to level 21. The boulder is trying to learn self-destruct. No. No, I don't think I will. There. Self-destruct, it... It faints you. You faint, but you do a lot of damage to the opponent. But it, it's not guaranteed that you'll KO the opponent. I think it's... I kind of think of... It's sort of wasteful. Okay, now that guy down there, no, I'm, I'm actually good. He's got an R on. Right. Something to remember about using rollout uh, is that if you do, you can't heal. <laughs> Want to battle against my Pokemon? It's time for Pokemaniacs. Yakko, Wacko, and Steve. Okay. He's got an hour on, so yeah. Violet, because yeah, nothing, nothing era interrupts the combo. Uh, you cannot in if you miss or are made to flinch, that will interrupt and reset the combo. That's really not going to help you much, dude. But um, other than that, no. All right. Super effective. And Aron fainted. Yay. And Violet crew to level 23. The boulder gained some experience points too. That's nice. M my Pokemon. Uh, don't forget what you've done to me. I'll make it so you can't forget. Okay, whatever. But if we check this rock, we get a Carbos. So that's pretty nice. Head this way. Right. This is this place is <laughs> Oh hey, a swab blue. Uh, let's see. You're flying a normal type. Violet. Water gun. Not bad. Ugh, sing. Yep. Uh, what do I have in the way of Pokeballs? Well, let's at least try one. It, we might catch it. Yes! Not bad! Okay, 
Okay, so now we've got a male squaw blue. These guys can actually be really nice. Like I said, right now they're normal flying type, and they're okay. But uh, they can learn some pretty nice moves. A Pokemon that has wings like cottony clouds. After enduring winter, in which little food is available, squaw blue flocks move closer to towns in the spring. Okay, so it is a cloud Pokemon. Yes. So, since it is a male cloud Pokemon, I am going to name it... Strife. And I guess uh, Squaw Blue will probably be our, uh, our, our uh, guest star for today. Besides, something that cute being named Strife just makes me happy. Alright, so up here there are no random battles. Uh, yeah, we can smash the rock. And we get a protein. Good. Okay, let's see. Um, and now up there, there's nothing. I have no idea why that's there. Let's see. So we come this way, come this way. That guy is a Kindler. Those rocks you can smash to get to a secret base. Uh, let's see, Violet's still asleep, and I don't think I'm going to bother waking her up just yet. We're going to switch Kihar to the front. Because uh, Violet's, you know, probably... We're, Kihar is a little underleveled, comparatively speaking. So, if you're lighting a campfire, make sure you have water handy. Way ahead of you, I have water types handy. Kindler Bernie would like to battle. Yeah, I think there's like three trainer types for every overworld sprite in this game. Fight. Water gun, or, oh, crud! That was stupid. Huh, not bad, actually. Ow. Not very effective, and it didn't burn me. Good. Sorry, water gun's there on Violet. That, yeah, that can be a problem if you switch from one Pokemon to another and their moves are, they have the same move in a different slot. <laughs> yeah. Alright. The boulder gained 150 XP. Kindler Bernie is about to use a Wingull. And I am going to change Pokemon. To Bruce. All right. All right, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I love the effect Bruce has on people. Fight. Yeah, Bruce is a little low, and I, I might give him a Lepa Berry. I do have a few. Yeah, I'm going to give him a Lepa Berry, because I'm going to want to use him in the next battle, too. In Blurberry. Yeah, but Squall Blue can be really nice uh, for various things. You set my spirit on fire. Let's register each other. I'm 12, dude. Watch how you, pre Watch how you phrase things. Okay, these two are a possible double battle. Let's see. Berries. Lepa, use on Bruce. Bite. There we go. That should be fine. All right. Now I want to, of course, move people around. Uh, let's see. Kihar is fine where he is. And we will move Bruce up here. Because he's got a Geodude and a Nummel, hence Kihar being in the front, because she does turn away sometimes. Um, and she's got a Lombre and a Meryl. There we go. If you're not prepared, you shouldn't be up in the mountains. I'm fine. Have you made your Pokemon evolve very much? Uh, some of them. That's a big guy. I love the hat. Alright, so yes, Geodude. You, you guys can probably guess where this is going, yes? Alright. Yep, yep. Ah, Bruce's Intimidate. It doesn't work on everybody. Like, Tentacle with Clear Body, it won't work on. Kihar is going to do Water Gun. Bruce is going to bite the Lombre. 
It isn't super effective, but it's powerful enough. Plus, then Kihar can attack. We wing attack won't be hugely effective, but it'll do some stuff. And Nummel. Yeah. Chomp. Yeah, that's always a thing, is the absorb. Kihar is going to water gun the Nummel. Bruce is going to bite the Lombre. Yep, you gotta love just taking these guys out completely. Uh, Bruce isn't that great against Lombre, but there isn't anybody any better. I mean, Harlan at least... Yeah, nature power turned into rock slide because nature power changes its tune... To Changes what it is, depending on... Yeah, I bet. Yeah, but Bruce is still a tank. Alright, Kihar, uh, wing attack that guy. Bruce, tackle him. See what that does. Or not. Okay, I forgot wing attack is super effective on grass. Ah, good. Alright. Alright. Bruce grew to level 22. Very nice. And so did the boulder. Oh, right. We're not done. Uh, she's got a Meryl. Yeah, I'm not too worried about this thing. It really can't do much. Uh, wing attack and bite. Bite is good on Merrells. Chomp. And there we go. Nice, nice crit there, Kihar. All right. I'd better heal Kihar because we're gonna need him for our next uh, fighter, or er, next person. Oh, I see. That's good to know. All right. That ki if you break that, of course, it leads you to another base. Okay, bag. Super Potion. Use. Yeah, Kihar is fine, but... Trust me, we want Kihar on this guy. I probably ought to use an Awakening on Violet. Oh, well. Yodelehi-hoo! You're supposed to shout Yodelehi-hoo since it doesn't echo around here. Well, tell me that before you get a little disappointed. Use your words, man! Hiker Letty would like to battle. Okay, then. Not Lemmy, Lenny. He's not a Koopala. Alright. Fight. Water gun. It's super effective! Yay! Alright. Yep. That's nice. He's got a Machop, so we're going to leave uh, Kihar out, and this is why I did want to heal him. Fight. Wing attack. That's super effective. Machop used Leer. Yeah, that's not going to help you much, dude. Wing attack again. Yay. And we defeated the hiker. Yay! Reminds me of a joke. It's a knock knock. Who's there? Little old lady. Little old lady who? I didn't know you could yodel. Yeah. So in here we've got Zubats. We're gonna have Zubats and Soul Rocks. So actually, Kihar is probably best to leave out. I'm gonna be running probably from this. Okay, so if we go straight up here, we get a full heal that removes status elements and brings us up to well full. Zubat. Mm-hmm. One of the nice things about having Kihar out is. Um, that we can run, because he's fast. 
And I think I am actually going to use a super repel. There. Because I don't want to run into wild Pokemon here. There's nothing I want, and I'm not really intending to... Oh, boy. <laughs> With this meteorite, that thing in Mount Chimney will... Huh? I don't know who you are, but if you get in the way of Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Magma. You're badly mistaken if you can think you can have your way with the world. Oh, look. <laughs> Even Team Aqua joins us. But it's too much trouble to deal with you all. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We've got the meteorite, so off to Mount Chimney we go. <laughs> Be seeing it, you Team Aqua dingbats. Dude, what is this, the village? Didn't I see you before? At Slateport's museum. Ah, so your name is Penn. At the time, I thought you were one of Team Magma's goons. Note the green. Hmph, you're one odd kid. I am. Team Magma is a dangerous group of total fanatics. Pot to kettle much? They engage in destruction, claiming to expand the landmass. They are the rival sauce, the seam loving Team Aqua. And you are all idiots. Boss, we should give chase to Team Magma. Yes, yes we must. We've got to hurry. There's no telling what Team Magma will do at Mount Chimney. Pen, you should keep an eye out for Team Magma too. Farewell. Okay then. Let's go talk to this dude. I, I'm Cosmo. I'm a professor. Team Magma asked me to guide them to Meteor Falls, but they tricked me. They even took my meteor right away. And then another similar bunch, Team Aqua, showed up. After that, I don't understand any of that because it's stupid. But that Team Magma, what are they going to do with that meteorite at Mount Chimney? Does anyone have any questions as to where we're supposed to go next? Okay. Hi. Alright, now, if we go this way, up here, we get a moonstone. This is the only moonstone in the game. So, uh, hopefully you don't want to involve both a Skitty and a Clefairy. Anyway, okay, so we come this way, and if we jump down these ledges... They're so weird. They look like that weird tree fungus. And now we are on Route 115. Meteor Falls, Fall Arbor Town through here. So this actually will take us back to Rustboro. All right. That guy's a black belt and he's got him a chop. Who have I got in the front? Is it still Kihar? It is still Kihar. But first, let's see. Yeah. All right, let's see. I think she's... Yeah, she's also a battle. But, so let's start with this gentleman. My strongest skill is busting bricks with my forehead! Um... That explains a lot. Black Belt Knob would like to battle. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, my British viewers, if I have any, probably know why I'm a bit... All right, then. Yep. Yeah, wing effects aren't doing a heck of a lot on this guy right now. Karate chop. It's not very effective. Fight. Wing attack. And there we go. Oh, no. Wow. Do you have sturdy, dude? Karate chop. That still hurt. Damn. Wing attack. All right, it's super effective. All right, so that's nice. Defeated you. Uh, my head is busted. That's what you get, dude. You impress me. Give me a rematch after I redo my training. Hopefully breaking bricks with your hands this time. I have, I have trained I can break uh, boards with my hands. Yes. Uh, it's not... Breaking boards with your hands isn't... You do need a little training, but it's not that difficult. Alright, so we've got... We're gonna have... Uh, let's see. Switch you up and you up. Because we've got a team battle coming up. The whole point... The whole trick is to make sure that you're aiming to put your hand through the board, not to hit the board. And... That's really not that difficult. And we've got some berries. Block berries. Block. I'm not sure what these guys do. I'll have to check. 
That carbos we found way back when, though, that was a that's a vitamin. I it raises something. We'll check that too. Okay. Good. Okay. I think block berries are just for poke blocks, but yeah, energy powder is a healing thing, but it's bitter, and your Pokemon won't like you as much. Okay. Carbos raises base speed. And, okay, this is just a, a poke, poke, poke block ingredient. Can't walk over the loamy soil, huh? And we get a PP up. Don't fall down these ledges just yet. Okay. All right, then. Hmm, let's see. He's got a Zangoose and a Viper. Aw, oh, shit. You've disturbed my meditation. You will be punished for it. One thing you can do to guarantee a double battle is run. Psychic Marlene. Oh. Actually, this is fine. Because Amethyst is the person I chose to fight that first guy. So, uh, let's see. Nightshade. Yeah, I figured you were gonna do that. I hate metatites. Alright. Nightshade. Probably should have kept Astonish. Oh, well. Hidden power. It doesn't affect Amethyst. So it was probably normal type. Or Psychic. Ugh. Psychic won't affect Amethyst because she's half dark type. Yeah, yeah. There we go. And there we go. Psychic Marlene is about to send in Spoink. No. No, Amethyst gets to fight the Spoink, too. Totally should have kept... Oh, well. I, if I get a heart scale, I can go back and relearn Astonish. That's, that's, when, that's why the move tutor in Fall Arbor Town is a thing. But we're not going to get heart scales for a while, so... Odor Sleuth. Okay. Um, I think that allows normal-type moves to hit... Um, ghost type Pokemon, I think. Splash? I don't even. I don't even. All right. All right. We beat Psychic. You've broken my concentration. Yep. Okay, quick, before this guy turns, we're going to move Harlan into the front. Then I'm probably gonna... I have a rare Pokemon! Would you like me to show you? Sure. I'm not sure which of these is his rare Pokemon. I think it's both, actually. Collector Hector would like to battle. That rhymes. Yep, he's got a Zen Goose. Go, Harlan! Okay, Zangus are normal type. Swords Dance. Yeah, that raises attack. Sharp Light. But Double Kick is gonna make short work of him. So Viper, I actually, I think they're normal type, but I'm not positive. I'll tell you, that was a nice thing in Sun and Moon. It would tell you. Okay, Boulder Grid level 23, good. Uh, I think they're poison type, actually. So, no, I'll, I'll just stick with Harlan. So Viper and uh, Zangoose are supposed to be arch enemies. I really like Saviper. I think they look great. Poison tail. What is... Ow. I've probably got a poison chicken. Oh, no, good. Ember. Good. Lick. That has a chance of causing paralysis. Just ember him again. And there we go. Let's see. Harlan gained, yep. The boulder gains some XP, and we defeated Collector Hector. You, you want my Pokemon, don't you? I wouldn't mind a Saviper. I really like the way they look. Okay, so there will be a way to get, get north across this, uh, 
expanse eventually. Super Potion. Kihar. Great. Uh, don't I have an awakening? I think I have an awakening. I don't. Oh, so much for that. Alright, well, just have to wait. Violet isn't that big a deal anyway. Alright, we're gonna move Kihar into the front. Switch. Because this lady is a... You can't jump down here, by the way. This lady is a battle girl, and she's got a Meditite, uh, and a Makuhita. This beach is my secret training spot. Don't come butting in. I suppose I could use Amethyst on the Meditite, but eh. Alright. Go, Kihar! Alright, fight. Wing attack. Good, it actually worked! Uh, not bad. Alright. Hidden power. And it... Not very effective, so who knows what it is. Wing attack again. Detect. Of course you did! Ugh... Did I mention you look like a smurf? Uh, right. Wing attack. Good, good. It worked this time. And super effective. Woohoo! And the Meditite fainted. Good. No, I'm... Er, sorry. Uh, no, I'm not going to change because Kihari is perfect for dealing with a Makuhita. Alright, and Kihar's going to... Let's see. Wing attack. Now, we could drop down and go... We can actually go back to Rustboro. We're very close there. But I don't want to do that. Fomakuhita is getting pumped. Wing attack again. Because there's no way to come back. So now we've got to go all the way back to, uh, we're going to have to go all the way back to Mount Chimney. That's where we couldn't take the cable car and had to take the fiery path. We're going to have to go all the way back through that. Um, you've seen it all, so I don't think I'm going to do that in this episode. I'm going to make it, we're going to, okay, fine, you're free to come here. In return, I'd like to battle you again. Sure. All right. Let's see. Still waiting on the repel, so... There we go. <laughs> Repel's effect wore off. Um, okay. Pokemon, let's see. Harlan, you're still... Oh. Harlan's still in the front, in the lead for levels, so super repel. I just don't want to be jumped by freaking, um... Zubat the whole way. So I'll show you just sort of the way back through Meteor Falls. Not that, you know, you couldn't... Hell. Mm, let's see. Nope, nothing in there. There are other Pokemon in here besides Solrock and Zubat, but you can't get to them yet because you have to be able to go uh, up that waterfall. So, yeah. Right. I'm going to backtrack to Fall Arbor on screen, and then the rest of my backtracking will be done off screen. I'm also thinking I might, again, off screen do some, um, just get myself a blue float, since I don't have awakenings. But that'll, that'll come later, so. Alright. Just, you know, this way, this way. You kind of have to go through this stuff just to get past all of these people. Not so bad, right? Okay. Went through all, past all of these people. And the, the repel wore off, but there aren't any wild Pokemon around here, so who cares? And we'll go save. Alright, so. Yes, welcome to Pokemon Center. Good, this ought to wake Violet up too. Yes. Alright. Alright. So. We've started Pokemon. Hope to see you again. Save. All right, yes, there's a saved file. So between now and the next episode, I'm going to make it just back to 
where, the, where we saw the two magma grunts guarding the cable car on Mount Chimney. So thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great evening. Goodbye. So today we're going to talk about a very cute and very interesting Pokemon. I mean, of course, the adorable Swablu. The name Swablu comes from a combination of Swab for the cottony wings and Blue. The Japanese name is Tealto, which likely is a double reference. It refers to the star Teal, otherwise known as Eta Draconis, in the constellation Draco, foreshadowing Swablu's gaining the dragon type in its evolution. It is likely also a reference to the Bluebird, a play by Belgian playwright Maurice Merterlink. Please forgive my horrible French. One of the characters therein, named Tealtiel, is sent to seek the Bluebird of Happiness. Visually, Swablu is based on a bluebird, though the beak resembles that of a lorikeet, which do also come in this color of blue. The wings evoke cotton or cloud. The Pokedex entries for Ruby states that it likes to perch on people's heads, which is a behavior possibly taken from this creature, a Canadian bird known as the Grey Jay. At level 35, Swablu evolves into Altaria, trading its normal typing for dragon. Altaria is a combination of Altus, High, and Aria, which is a song or melody. It also evokes the star Altair, which is the brightest star in the constellation Aquila, the eagle. The Japanese name is Tealtalus, which has the same derivations as the name of the previous evolution. Altaria is likely based on the Peng, a Chinese legendary bird of enormous size. Altaria do, in fact, get very big. Peng was originally an alternate character for Feng, as in the Fenghuang, or the Chinese phoenix. As this bird is often treated as a feminine counterpart to the masculine dragon, Altaria's typing makes some sense. Interestingly enough, Mega Altaria becomes a dragon fairy type, which makes it immune to dragon attacks and lowers its quad weakness to ice, though it loses the immunity to ground. The cloud moves around to emphasize the tail and give the impression of a Dutch bonnet, fitting with the frilly theme that goes with fairy-type Pokémon. Mega Altaria's ability is Pixelate, which gives any move it uses the fairy-type, hence the design shifting to emphasize the fairy aesthetic.